<laughs> that time again, eh? How are you doing? Welcome to the old hot and spicy. Bit of a well, back to basics, but uh, I've been having so much different things, um, and I want to use a few sauces up. So what I thought I'd do is I've cooked up from raw, shall we say, then beauties chicken with a nice. Crispy skin, hopefully, and some garlic and rosemary flatbread, sister to the sun blushed. And we've got, do you know what this stuff is? It's ice cold, I know that, that we can tell. Maybe not. We're heading to uh, California, Sierra Nevada, California IPA citrusy uh, ale this is a uh, 4.2 percent is it citrusy and seasonable ale so let's have a taste of california shall we that's nice oh yeah zesty lemon zesty beautiful Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, what else is it? Oh, it's warm today. Oh, it is in here as usual. Okay, I want a big thank you now. We're sponsored by Wallacey. Wallacey in the Wirral. Thank you, Craig, Mr. Mully, if you're watching. Booking hours overtime on Monday for this. <laughs> now, I'm not sure this video will be watched much tonight because uh, most of this country will have their eyes in Madrid for the Liverpool game. So uh, good luck to them. Anyway, yeah, Craig sent me these worn in extreme heat. Uh, Seabrook, good make. I like the ridged crisps. Uh, fire, what they call the Trinidad Scorpion Chili. So just before I try them. We're going to try these. Nice flavour straight away. Wow. You can feel there's something there. Don't need too many of these before that. Nice, good kick to them, look at the colour, good kick to them, okay, I can tell, wow, so the first one, you can tell there's something spicy, nice taste, second one adds to that, bit of heat, third one, a bit more heat, so it's a slow burner, tingling, nice tingle, not overpowering uh, well for not for this palette of uh, asbestos <laughs> um, but beautiful nice kick if you fancy a treat and I don't know where you got them from Craig but a nice treat in the evening with a few beers lovely watching the match tonight um, nice um, I think they're the hottest crisps I've had the way it's building up yes yeah, nice wow many thanks Thirsty as well. And Friday. Okay, doc, let's have a try then. What should we go for? I'm going to use some of this first. Nando's Peri Peri Vusa. The hottest sauce they do this, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, come on, that's perfect, isn't it? Even the ridge marks, because I did these in the halogen. Ooh, 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 load on there, don't drop it, don't drop it. See it? Here we go. I don't know where Tesco get their chicken, but that hell is good. 
Nice salsa. Oh, and this is still hot from the oven. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> now, for those who are not following the football, what are you up to tonight? Anything nice? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Holy sm <laughs> Now I'm hungry as well. Oh. If you're watching the game, got a few in of you. some snacks in <laughs> it's good isn't it a lot of going to the pubs if you that's beautiful huh? if you like um gonna book a flight to California now if it's from there, you look at these things, it's made in pretty... Anyway, you Americans, yay or nay, is that your lot? It's uh, the taste, absolutely stunning. Citrusy taste. Right, excuse me, because I am hot. It's like, um, excuse me a minute. Good grief. More room in a flipping. There we go, put them on there. Okay, bear with. We're having a few uh, set problems. Oh, that's better. Do that. Okay. Um, well, I may as well tell you about the tomatoes and the chilies. Um, I'll show you them now. Wait a minute. But first, let's try a bit of the um, try a bit of this. Mm. I missed that. I must go to the bigger store to um. Stock up on the sun blush. Uh, right, what was I saying? What was I talking about then? Oh yeah, the tomatoes, tomatoes and chilies. <laughs> here's the tommies and the chilies. So here's the tomatoes, and uh, so far they're growing nicely, and there's no um, problems. This is the money maker. Looking good, and this one here is the red cherry. Looking good. So, um, just going to give them a good soak, you know. Had a bit of rain today, but uh, give them their daily water. So, I'll show you the uh, chili now. So, here's the chili. Um, I don't know if you can see inside there, but we've got some lovely flowers starting. And there's lots starting, you know, of these in the tops here. So flowers mean chilies, hopefully. Uh, I've had uh, aphid, this is Scotch bonnet, by the way. I have had uh, aphid problems with this. So I've cut all the bottom leaves, removed this bottom soil, uh, and I put some Vaseline, believe it or not, on the stems there and there. So it stops them walking up. It's worked so far. I have seen one or two. Um, you can see there's a couple of holes on here, but nothing major, everything's okay, so 
just keep an eye on it. So that's the Scotch Bonnet Chili. Oh, and this, um, all this is open glass. Uh, I'm just, I've shut it now for filming because it was easier for you to see the plant. But um, yeah, so that's the chili. Doing okay. Not looking bad, are they? So, um, mind you, the, the tomatoes you've seen there were filmed about two days ago, and they've, I've noticed today they've shot up, a, you know, a bit more I can tell. So, uh, it won't be long, I'll be tying them up to the cane. That's, uh, that's with them. God, it's warm in here. Right, sauce number two. Oh, I love this stuff. This uh, Naga Fire. Jethro's. I noticed, did I tell you, that, you know that um, YouTube channel, Hot Ones, they have celebrities having chicken wings. Well, a few weeks ago, I think, they re they shown their hot sauce of choice for this year, I think it is. Ten sauces, from mildish up to the hot. Uh, I may have said this, if I haven't, sorry, any new subscribers, you'll benefit from this. And uh, one of the sauces was Wiltshire. A uh, scorpion or something. Anyway, a hot one. And I happen to have tried that in Llangollen Food Festival. Oh yes, because she was there. Wiltshire Chili Farm or something. It was called, I can't remember now. But if you watch the hot ones, you'll see Wiltshire. And uh, that sauce she brought, it was in the hot section. Because when I tried it, everybody came round <laughs> to have a look at me. And I wasn't, I wasn't. <laughs> but it was, I said, it was a nice kick to that. I think some of them were disappointed that I wasn't sort of overcome, shall we say, by the heat. Here we go. A bit of the Jethro's. I'm sure this has a bit of a kick to it, if I remember. If I don't remember, I'll be soon reminded now. Hmm, nice sauce, rich. Yeah, it's not um, it doesn't blow you away, but it's nice, nice taste. These smaller companies do a good job, don't they? Yeah, I've got all day, mate. Mm. Lovely, wow. Um, the only thing with the chilli, oh tomatoes, the, did I say what they were? Red cherry and money maker, both doing well. No problems, no spots, no touch wood and cross fingers. The chilli however, I've had trouble with aphids. Got rid of them, a few more came back. Got rid of them, so what I'm doing now is watering it. I water it every other day at the moment. Get rid of any infected, because what these aphids do is eat the leaves and they can turn the leaf bad. So get rid of them straight away and uh, spray, you know, the plant. You can use a soapy water mixture with, um, in the evening, they recommend. But I'm, I'm going to just keep an eye on them. There's nothing on them today, which is good. And then I'll keep an eye tomorrow, any more wiped off. Um, just do it that way, I think. It's, uh, they're not affecting the flowers because they can do you see because it's got beautiful flowers on it now you haven't seen that in the video you've seen the little tiny start of them well at the moment they're flowers and i'm hoping flowers mean chilies well they will mean chilies as long as they're not damaged scotch bonnets now we're going to head over to my main sponsor of the videos burton on trent and i got a viewer down there how are you doing Burton on Trent. Do you ever go around the factory? Freebies. <laughs> Tell them you know me, you might get a 10% discount. <laughs> Knowing my luck, they charge you 10% extra. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're back on home turf. Okay, that's the Naga. Next one will be. Um, oh, let's go for the chili shop. 
Apocalypse 2. God, I said it. Apocalypse 2. They've had a few visitors there. Um, when we went last time, she was saying that we've had a few. What did she call them? Oh, we've had a few of your fans. <laughs> fans. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a great shop. And what I like to see when I go, I stock up on my chilli powders um, and dry chillies. See, they're in the know, you see, they grow stuff themselves. Join this tonight. A bit of an old cloudy day, but warm, quite humid. I think rain tomorrow. I'm talking of tomorrow. Lamb chops. Um, only little sort of loin chops. Um, Jersey Royal potatoes, which I'll steam along with the broccoli, cauliflower, they'll be steamed, and mushy peas. Yeah, I know somebody loves them. Um, La Chento's gravy, don't worry, I forgot. La Chento's of gravy. And I've got another, I bought this, quite expensive to buy these, £1.80, don't usually do that sort of thing, but I like to try different things, and that is, it's worth it, yeah, you get a deal I think, you can buy six for, is it £5 for six, cars? something like that, I can't remember, but um, really nice if you like a citrusy IPA, the other one I've got is a, I can't remember the name of it, Ipecan or something, Pink grapefruit. Oh yeah, nice. I like anything citrus to shave or to drink. Um well, I tried Apocalypse 2, I've said it twice now. Now this one trappies. Except from the States. Not a lot left. Um, mango fruit. Now this to me. Oh it's beautiful. Oh yeah this is a. It's not. It's like a vinegary type. It's not. I don't think it's vinegary. But that type of thing. Reminded me of the Tesco's version of their Texas barbecue sauce. That was a nice vinegary, you know, um, oh, nice. <laughs> There's something about eating with your fingers. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm joking. Beautiful. Yeah, so I know this video may not be watched this evening, um, maybe more tomorrow. I fully understand. You'd be shouting at the television, I mean, you'd be watching the game. This is the life. Where would I like to be now? Would I like to be in the sun in Madrid? <sighs> well, if there had plenty of ice cold beer yeah? and chilies and hot sauces. Um, we've got the President of the USA coming here next next week. I don't know what the hell he's coming here for. Now, a bit of a quirky fella. 
himself, but he reckons Boris Johnson will make a good Prime Minister to run the country. And even though Boris Johnson makes me laugh, I don't think he could run a bath, no mind the country. <laughs> and uh, the President's, uh, he said, oh, Boris would make a good Prime Minister. I don't think the British government will listen to Mr. Trump on that one. <laughs> anyway, I know, hope he has a nice visit. Our good allies, the Americans, are my good friends, aren't you? Who said no then? <laughs> I have a lot of support from America for my channels, and I'm very grateful and very kind people. There you are, there's a proof of it. There's one. <laughs> I've had um, aftershaves. This is how good they are. Uh, there's a chap, John, come from the States, because you can't post aftershave, you see. You can't just mail it to America, because it's, it's alcohol-based and all whatever, isn't it? Um, so, but you can carry it yourself, you know, if you take a few bottles yourself somewhere, you know, that's okay, because it's, it's deemed as personal use. And fair play to him, he's coming to London on holiday, or vacation, as you say over there. And he brought three bottles of sterling aftershave, and then, when he was in London, posted them up to me here. You know, fair play, people don't have to do that, I'm very grateful. Very grateful. I'm not sure if you watch this, but thank you John, if you watch. Is this going on? Shall I cut it there? Shall we cut it there? I've got a few more sauces, but I'm going to... Oh, go on, just one more. We'll have another... This is another from the USA. Tropical... What is it? Tropical Pepper Company. Here. Extra Hot Habanero. Now, I can't remember... If... Who said you can come out? <laughs> I'm not sure if I've... Uh... No, I can smell the peppers. Chilies. Oh yeah, forget some of these are quite. Uh... Hang on a minute. Mm, that's a nice taste. Heat. One minute. I'll let you go in a minute. Very professional these, aren't they? Well, no, they're not meant to be. That's a nice sauce. It says extra hot, but I don't feel there's a kick there, but I don't feel like you know it's not um, well, it's not my extra hot, but it's a lovely tasting sauce. Wow, very kind. I won't bother. That's the last of my. This is absolutely successful. This best sauce I've ever made. But I know how I like it. You see, smoky and hot. Oh. Oh. I'll finish off with some of this Reaper sauce from the chili shop. That's nice. That's got a kick to it. And some of that. Now those were asking. I can't seem to get this. At the moment, Tesco, in my area, they're a pound a bottle. So try Tesco's. I also seen them in the co-op. Um, I'm not sure if they were a pound or maybe a bit more, but they, they stocked them in my local co-op. So if you see them, it's, it's good to grab a couple of bottles, actually. It keeps. So I've had some of these for months and months and months. And months. And months. So it's worth getting... So check Tesco, check uh, Co-op, and that's it, I'll leave you to it. Thanks very much. Have a great weekend. Uh, thanks again. Welcome to new subscribers. Uh, I had a notification off YouTube to say the subscribers had uh, gained someone in a month. Um, and it said on it, clever, it said some of, the, how did it say? Uh, 
some are subscribers but some are unsubscribers unsub unsubbed people and others were new subscribers so thank you very much and welcome to the channel it's not all about eating and drinking even though that's good that's a major part of this channel yeah but uh, walking I'm hoping to fit a wild camping um, I've got a, a spot I'd like to go I've got the gear I'd like to use but um, it's just the time to fit it in but it'll happen because it's got to happen anyway have a great weekend good luck to Liverpool don't usually involve politics um, religion or sport in any videos really but uh, sod it I hope Liverpool win to be honest so all the best that's my my opinion my choice obviously <laughs> so have a great weekend and uh, if I if you follow me on the other channel I'll see you in the morning uh, if not I'll see you in the next video take care and good luck with anything you're growing if you're doing anything have a great weekend if you're in Madrid stay safe take care see you